<laughs> Merry Christmas or Happy Advent. Whenever you're watching this, I hope that our nativity production will lift your spirits and inspire you in the way only a good story can. Some of the best sermons contain personal stories and each nativity pageant is a retelling of a very personal story. I have helped produce many different types of nativity pageants. Each one presents its own joy as well as its own challenges. It's a bit like herding cats. We filmed this over the course of about three weeks and in that time some of our cast got sick <laughs> and some had to film from home. I appreciate the effort that went into each child being here to record or recording at home and learning new words like Bethlehem and census. There are so many things that go into a nativity pageant, just like anything else with children. I love the idea of a nativity pageant because it allows children to experience the story in a different way. They get to be the characters and they ask so many great questions. Like, why did Joseph have to travel for a census? What even is a census? Stepping into the story allows us to wonder. It allows us to wonder what Mary and Joseph and Jesus' lives might have been like and what questions they might have asked and what things they might have encountered. What might it like be what might it be like to encounter an angel and so many other parts that spark curiosity and help imprint this story on their hearts. In Deuteronomy, God tells the Israelites to bind his words on their heart and on their heads. And I like to think that this means that we are to make his words and the stories that we find within the Bible part of our consciousness as a family and as a church. There are many valuable lessons within each story that we find in scripture. And I hope you watch this production and gain something new. May you find a calm minute in this very busy season to reflect on the events that started it all. Christmas is to be sure a lot of things, but the best of it goes back to a mother, a father, and a tiny baby born in Bethlehem. That beginning is part of the past that has moved powerfully into the present. It's made up of the universal stuff of life. Human and divine all at the same time. But first of all, human events in which God was present, human events in which God is present. Right here. Now. There is loving, loving peacemaking, peacemaking, forgiving, forgiving. Forgive. Tonight, let's go back to the beginning. To Joseph, Mary, Bethlehem, angels, to all of that. The emotion in the story are art of history of humanity, past, present, and future. The courage of faith. The hopes for a child's future are the hopes for peace. In the days of Herod, the king of Judea, over 2,000 years ago, on the continent of Africa, there was a young woman who lived in the city of Nazareth. Her name was Mary. She was betrothed to a man named Joseph. Joseph was a carpenter. He and Mary were to be married. Mama, she leaves us soon, Joseph. I have a job to complete before the wedding. Did you ever find that hammer you lost? No, it's just seeing you could disappear. Many strange things are happening in Nazareth these days. Yes. Please, go on, go on, look for the hammer. Goodbye, Mary. <laughs> Do not frighten Mary. I am an angel of the Lord. Hail to you, Mary. You are highly favored. The Lord is with you. You are scanning me. You are not Mary, you are blessed among women. Very soon now you will have a son. How is peace? You are not yet married. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the eyes will overshadow you. So the Holy One who be born will become the Son of God. Your name is Jesus. So, you are going to be the mother of God's son? Yes, even Elizabeth, your cousin, will have a child. But my cousin Elizabeth is too old. Nothing is impossible with God. I am a servant of the Lord. May it be with me as you say. I will visit my cousin Elizabeth and share our happiness. And now in those days, Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country to the town of Judah 
and entered the house of Z Zachariah. Elizabeth, are you here? Mary, you are blessed among women. You too have been blessed, Elizabeth. We have been blessed because we believe. All things are possible with God. Have you shared the news with Joseph yet? No. Remain with me in Judea for a while and then return to tell him. Mary remained with Elizabeth for about three months and then returned to her own home. Joseph, I'm going to tell you something important. What is it, Mary? We're going to have a baby. Joseph, fear not. Mary's child is God's own son, and his name will be Jesus. And the next day, Joseph arose from his sleep and did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, and took Mary as his wife. Hear ye, hear ye. Behold the decree from Caesar Augustus, a census of the entire Roman world will be taken. Every man must return to his essential home for his registration. Mary, we must travel to Bethlehem. I am prepared to make the journey. But the baby will be born soon. We must go. that while they were there in the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, Mary delivered her baby. And she wrapped him in swaddled clothes and laid him in a manger because there were no rooms for them in the end. The 
shepherds went in haste, and they found Mary, Joseph, and the babe. And so Joseph took the child and his mother Mary to depart into Egypt, and they remained there until the death of Herod. Jesus grew and began his ministry and spread of message of peace and hope. Peace among all people. And so we celebrate the birth of the Prince of Peace. We wish you all the peace and hope of Christmas. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. What is it, Mary? Right here! Now! Human and divine, all at the same time. <laughs> Stop! I'm just be looking at it. Wait, wait, wait. What? He would do better. Uh, okay, okay. Just give me a thumbs up. Sorry. And entered the house of Zachary. No, I said that wrong. <laughs> Zachary. God of his Poopy! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.